Hey guys, it's Charlie. It is uh, August 4th, Tuesday, and I'm doing another video because I wanted to talk about a few more things. Um, number one is this cash for clunkers fiasco. Uh, and I know, I know, if you're, if you're, uh, if you have ears to hear and eyes to see, then you know that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread and cash for clunkers is really boosting auto sales. But let me ask you something. How on earth is it going to help the economy to entice people to go go further into debt and to spend three, four, five, who knows how many billions of dollars that we don't have to begin with? I mean, how do you even rationalize giving out these billions of dollars when there's millions of people who are unemployed, but you're going to give these tax breaks, these reef baits, to these car dealers so people will come in and go further into debt. Really? That's that's what our representatives are coming home and hanging their hats on? You know, because that's what they're saying when they get back home. Look at look what we did. This is the this is the best thing to happen for the environment and the auto industry since forever. And I you know, frankly, I'm sick of hearing about it because I want, you know, think of it this way. Think of it like the uh, the Brits do. In, in the UK, they don't say trillion. They say thousands of billion, okay? So if you look at, let's say they go crazy on cash for clunkers, right? And, they're, and the Congress is going to give out $10 billion for it. Now, they're not going to take it out of the uh, $1.3 trillion stimulus package. No, we can't touch that money. They're going to give create it out of thin air anew. So let's say they go to $10 billion. The American taxpayer has been put on the hook for Wall Street for $24.7 trillion, okay, according to their own inspector general. $24.7 trillion is $24,700 billion. Dollars. Twenty-four thousand. If I was in the mob, and I came and extorted twenty-five grand out of your neighborhood, and then I had the, I was gracious enough to hand you ten dollars back, and expect uh, you to grovel at my feet because I'm working hard on your behalf in the protection racket. I mean, that's what it equates to, you know. You're talking a pittance, a drop in that bucket. Don't you know? Don't show me this is a success. This is abject failure. This is buying a few weeks' breathing room when you come back home. By golly, oh gosh, darn it! We finally hit a home run with this one. Bullcrap! You put more people, thousands and thousands of dollars more in debt, and you shuffled money into the government-owned entities that used to be our auto industry. Way to go. That's all I got.